without further ado, I'm as excited as anyone in the room. Uh, I get to introduce our leader in Kansas City, not just in Kansas City, Missouri, because he's the leader here. But I'm going to tell you, he's a leader not just in Kansas City, Missouri, but the region. And he represents all of us across the country and across the world in an extraordinary way. And his commitment to community is amazing. And I also call him my good friend. Could you all join me in welcoming our mayor, Sly James? Mayor. So too often, you know, when people hear prospect, they start thinking in the negative. But, you know, I have never thought that that was a negative. I grew up one block east of Prospect, so Prospect was my main street. We have $140 million in investments represented around the room today uh, that tell us that something is, in fact, going on that's positive and something, hopefully, that makes the east side better. Now, I'm not going to tell you that it's all and everything, because it's not. we got a lot more work to do, and never, anybody who says anything to the contrary is fooling you. we got work to do, and we're going to do it, but you have to start somewhere, and we've started. So I want to look at the projects that we're celebrating today. We've got the Leon Mercer Jordan Police Campus at 22nd and 23rd Street Corridor. The Morning Star, yeah, thank you. We've got the Morning Star Youth and Family Center. And uh, for all of those folks there, we hope that things are turning around there. I know that uh, Councilman Wagner, Councilman Reed, and I worked to try to find some funding for some issues there. Uh, we've got the uh, uh, Ladders of Opportunity Grant that is coming in to help. We've got the Prospect Max that we're going to be working with Joe Reardon on. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. Uh, we often hear that there's nothing happening in the urban core, but that's certainly not the case. There's a lot of activity happening on Prospect, and I'm excited to be here to hear more about what those activities are and what developments are coming our way. This is one of the reasons why I'm attending, because I want to hear more and I want to see more. I'm just waiting for us to break the bricks so we can get started. But also, as a community, we have to be a part of this development. So whenever we get started with the development, neighborhood associations are going to have to come in and be able to work with their community, too, to give something back as well. I actually attended this event because I sit over here in the Prospect Corridor at 2420 East Linwood at the shopping center where we already have a whole bunch of new developments coming along. Yeah, I believe it's a great opportunity for Kansas City just because we have new police station coming in, new crime lab, new shopping center, uh, actually with the new grocery store coming. I believe it will bring a new opportunity to the city, plus it's the new money district. Well, uh, I'm really optimistic and enthusiastic about Prospect. I love Prospect. Um, I think it uh, has a lot of good business opportunities. And I'm just excited uh, to see the growth and progress, uh, which is why I came to Progress on Prospect. So what we're trying to do and what we're always going to try to do, and I'm not going to stand around and tell you that it's going to be a magical mystery tour and that it's going to be solved in a day. The things that we're trying to fix have been in existence for decades. There hasn't been any change for I don't know how long. But here's the difference. We're making some changes that will be used as catalysts to make more changes. And over a period of time, we're going to change Prospect into something that you love, you're proud of, and you don't have problems with. It. 